Guys, I hit the vintage Lego jackpot at the thrift store. What's going on guys, it's Jesse back with RetroZone Neon. As you can see right here, I have, I think six bags of vintage Lego that I picked up at the thrift store today. Um, I went a little overboard. Each one of these bags was, yes, $10. So I spent a little bit on this, but wait until you guys see what's in here. I mean, you can already see just from looking at this, it's full of vintage parts. It's full of vintage minifigures. Um, you know, I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna do this video. I think I'll probably just do one bag, maybe two. Um, so I'm just gonna grab bags at random. Just start with these two bags right here. And we'll see, I may only do one bag. You know, I don't wanna keep you here all day long. My plan is, I've got this lid and I'm gonna pour pieces onto this lid and kinda, so I can kinda keep everything together and oh by the way you're asking yourself what are these well this is Rolly this is my vintage toy not vintage this is my custom handmade resin art toy that I make um, I sold three of them today so you know if you want one this is all that's left and after this I may not make any more ever and I certainly won't make any ones like this so if you want one you want to support the channel Head on over to my Instagram at Jesse Sketches. We can talk about making you a deal on a roll. But without further ado, let's get into it. So these bags, I would say they're easily from the 90s, if not earlier. Probably late 80s, early 90s for the majority of this stuff. Um, you know me, I'm not going to buy bags of Lego that are modern unless there's something really cool in there so all this stuff you know is vintage vintage parts vintage minifigures you know i think my plan here is to just kind of go through it you know like i'll pull out cool stuff and i definitely will pull out all the minifigures and minifigure parts and we'll go over those but you know i don't know i don't really have a plan if i'm honest with myself Make sure I got all the pieces out of here. And you know, I already made a video like this once. Um, I think it was my last upload. I don't know if people were into it or not. It didn't seem to get a ton of views. So I'm just doing this because I want to do it. And you know, if you don't like it, that's okay. I have more Hot Wheels videos coming soon. Um, but right off the bat, you can see we've got some castle walls, which is always cool. Got a bunch of these, uh, these old school balloon tires those are cool I see I see a lot I see a lot there's two sets three sets um, sorry three sets potentially four sets of balloon tires this is the this is the uh, the, the vintage of Lego that we're dealing with here's a cool garage door vintage piece Got a little horsey horse. Every single one of these bags that I got has minifigures in it. So, some big gray pieces. Here's another castle wall. Pretty cool. You can see we've got a shield, vintage knights shield. I forget, forget who those guys are. We've got a piece of yarn, so I'll definitely save that. Hang on to that. I've got a minifigure right here. Okay, we've got tank top guy that's naked otherwise if you prescribe to the theory that yellow plastic is naked lego but you can see here i've got an old school vintage white helmet so that's cool there's definitely going to be spacemen in these bags there was so many spacemen in fact let's see here here's a it's in really good shape i mean the print is i don't see the gold that's always the first thing to go but awesome you can see the vintage blue helmet, solid, solid peg, so you know it's vintage. You know, at 10 bucks a piece on these bags, um, you know, it's, here's a cool fork, forklift piece. That's pretty neat. Um, at 10 bucks a piece on these bags, like, that's kind of a lot, 
We've got a little vintage head. Solid, solid peg. But I figure if there's at least one or two minifigs... Oh, look at that wheel. If there's at least one or two minifigs in here, you know, you... I mean, it's worth the money. Like, each vintage minifigure, if I can find complete ones or piece together complete ones, is going to be worth, you know, ten bucks. Like, five, five bucks a piece. Just put it, you know, put it at that. And, you know, hard not to be worth it. There was so much stuff that I left behind, guys. Cause, just because I couldn't... I couldn't fork out like a hundred bucks. So I found what I thought was the best bags that they had and I grabbed them. So this bag looks like that's about it. I see some accessories. The rest is just pieces. Like this is all good stuff, but I don't think that's Lego. But, um, you know, it is what it is. I will probably, uh, edit this out i'm gonna stop looking at this bag and i will come back when i have the next bag ready okay let's move on to this bag um i'm not sure what's in this one so there was one bag there that i didn't end up grabbing just because i already had six bags and it was adding up so fast and i got some hot wheels for hot wheels videos but it had an awesome horse like this but it was the the uh the indian version so it was like painted and it had all the spots and like oh it was so cool but that's the only thing in that bag that i saw that looked like anything of note so i didn't end up grabbing it but that's the one where i was like man if money was no object okay so right off the bat i'm seeing some cool stuff in here i mean i've got a couple of canopies or maybe just this one this is a, a nice blue canopy Pretty good shape, too. There's two of them. These are uh, always cool to have. Put those canopies over there. We've got some more of these gigantic wheels. These things are rubber, too, by the way. Like, you're definitely not going to get Lego pieces like that these days. I've got what looks like to be a boom crane piece, which is very interesting. So, fork, fork piece, boom crane see what else it's a little firefighter minifigure or and or police i'm not sure if you know hit me down in the comments i like to think i know a decent amount about this stuff but always room for me to be wrong we've got another knight here pretty sweet i don't know uh these black knights uh i don't know if you know what faction the knights are let me know we've got Looks like remnants of a trailer build with big fat balloon tires. Again, this is not something that that you see nowadays. We've got <laughs> a face <laughs> on a brick. Um, that may be, I don't know, something special. Got some minifig accessories. We've got some more balloon tires. Again, tr maybe trailer build or something like that. Another firefighter, fireman, this time with the air tanks. Pretty sweet. I mean, how can I pass this stuff up, guys? And there's this guy who's riding a motorcycle with air tanks and a vintage style helmet. Like, that's pretty sweet. You know, I've got remnants of a fire truck. Is there something in here? Oh, we've got white air tank over there what about on this side nothing like this was obviously one kid's stuff i don't think these train pieces are lego and this is all old vintage stuff like oh look at that that's a pretty cool is that a plane plane tail not from vintage space i don't know what that what that logo is but pretty sweet Three radar dishes, like, oh, here's a pretty cool helmet, night helmet, put that on this guy. Um, what else do we got? This conglomeration has some pretty cool prints on it. Um, got some windshields, oh, here's a turbine piece, maybe that goes with this plane tail, you know, for a, a blue plane. 
Got some Technic stuff. Here's a blue air tank. Set that aside. Yeah, I don't know, man. Like, nothing but cool stuff in here. All this vintage stuff, like, you know, you just don't find it that much these days. Like, here's a yellow air tank. So, it's hard for me to, like, oh, cool, here's a hose. Fire, fireman's hose? And like I mentioned in my last LEGO video, Castle Wall, if you know, like, if you see some of these chunks and you're like, oh, yeah, that's obviously from set 5614, then, like, let me know. I, I would love to undergo the challenge of trying to rebuild some of these sets that I find. Like, there's got to be partial or full remnants of sets in all this stuff. Like, it's not random pieces, you know? Well, that's a pretty cool little spaceship build remnant. Okay. I think that I am mostly through here. Got another little helmet. Little sword piece. Let's do one more bag. Let's do one more. It's gonna be a long video. Okay, last bag for this video. Stay tuned for part two. I'm gonna film it right after I film this one. And, uh... You know, that'll probably be coming next week to the channel. Just space it out a little bit. So, this one looks like there's some a bunch of minifig stuff in here. So, let's dump, dumpy dump. I see prints. I see minifig accessories. I see lots of small parts. Okay. So kind of see our collection growing back there. Let me get this in frame. Right off the bat, I see wheels. Big wheels, like, this, this is stuff you don't find every day. These were, these are from, you know, from sets that were probably a little higher end sets back in the day, which not everyone had access to, so. Cool sticker piece, wheels and tires. Oh, that's a pretty cool piece. This one with the I don't know, dots on it, pretty sweet. We've got a man right here. White shirt, blue jeans, smiley face, solid peg. I'll take it. This guy's right on top. Another uh, like city, city dweller, solid peg. Let's see. Oh, got a little fireman, or no, policeman. That's a policeman, right? Yeah, with his badge. Pretty, pretty awesome there with his hat and everything. I mean, you guys can see why. Let's look at that door. You guys can see why I bought this, right? Here's a little fireman's hat. And they had so much, guys. Like, I'm in it mostly for the minifigs, so I, I tried to get the minifig, the minifig uh, heavy bags that, you know, had stuff in it that I'm interested in, but if you were just after like vintage parts, I mean, there's so much. It's a big window. It's window and door, always good to have. I see chunks of cars. I see, what is this, the back of a tow truck? Like specialized pieces that they don't make anymore. I don't know what that is. Interesting little chunk. We got another policeman but with a yellow space helmet oh here's a red space helmet pretty sweet oh now that's a find look at that vintage space tail fin with the print in great shape too got riser piece oh there we go pretty good torso look at that in great shape. Look at that reflective. This is like a lion, lion knight, maybe is what they're called. Doesn't have a head, but I think I have a couple extras in here. Let's look through these smaller pieces real quick. What is this? Remnant of a sticker, a shell sticker. Interesting. And here's a triangle caution print. Um... Oh, look, another, oh, look at that, a red spaceman. How about that, guys? I haven't seen too many red ones. With the white helmet, very cool. 
Here's a yellow helmet. And some hair. Flags. I mean, you know, it's not glamorous. I'm literally, you know, digging through a bunch of old Lego, but like, oh, here's another guy. Look, it's a little, little Farmer John in his overalls. You probably should have blue pants, but that's okay. Decent little, little town guy. Got some more wheels. Another yellow helmet and a shield. Lion Knight shield. I mean, this is like a treasure trove of vintage parts. Another yellow helmet. Matching one of these. Or is it the same one? No. So tell me what set that's from, guys. I'll do my own research, of course, but... So interesting piece. Let's see. What do we got over here? Oh, a penny. Let's see. What is the date on this penny? What are... What? I'm taking bets. Prior to 1960? Let's see. 1984. <laughs> the perfect time period. I mean, this is uh, definitely for stuff from 1984. It was probably a new penny at the time. So I'm digging. I'm looking. But I think that's most of the interesting stuff in here. Here's a sword. Here's some legs, some black legs that I just dropped. If you guys are watching this and you see any cool pieces that I missed, hit me up and down in the comments. These pieces aren't going anywhere. Oh, look at that. Is that like a, like a phone? Phone piece? Interesting. But anyway, okay, so that's about it. I'm going to pause and then let's kind of quickly recap and then catch me for part two. Okay, so look at the minifigures. We've got Red Space Man. We've got a couple of knights back here. This guy, let's give him a head. And then we've got Yellow Space Man. And then we've got a bunch of village people. We've got some police. We've got some, some fire. Like, this is all vintage, iconic Lego stuff, guys. Like, come on. Can't beat it. So that's the figures. We've also got a horse. And we've got some great, great old pieces like this. We've got, remember, a bunch of balloon tires. Which just don't, just aren't a thing anymore. Got some of these gigantic rubber tires. So, yeah. Right after this, I'm going to uh, start going through those b other three bags with the next video. So stick around, stay tuned, stay tuned for part two. And remember, if you guys want a Roly to help support the channel, definitely do that. Um, but yeah, I'll let you guys go and we'll catch up in the next video. Peace out.